Can anybody explain to me what this bloke is doing in a cowboy hat? Can anybody explain what this guy is doing with black stuff on his face wearing coal mining gear? One is an accountant pretending to be a farmer and the other is an economist with an Italian passport pretending to be a coal miner. They're playing dress ups and what a show it is. We've got the stockman, George Christensen with his whip We've got the Daggy Dad character, the very lead actor in this whole show, playing Scotty Cam on a renovation property show. And of course, the curry specialist at MasterChef. And this guy, pretending to be human. The problem of course is that these are not just actors in some bizarre cosplay drama. They're also Australia's key policy makers. And as far as Barnaby Joyce and Matt Canavan go, and the National Party and parts of the coalition, they are leading Australia into an abyss. Whether we like it or not, climate change is happening. Whether we like it or not, big institutions around the globe are dumping fossil fuel assets, coal, oil, gas. Whether we like it or not, there is a transition to renewable energy happening on a global scale. China, Korea, Japan, all coming forward with net zero targets, while our actors in this bizarre cosplay drama are talking about horizons, not targets. Horizons, of course, are something that are always there, but you never reach them. Over in Europe, of course, we have somebody masquerading as a diplomat, somebody espousing also the interests of the fossil fuel lobby for Australia's big miners and for the multinational mining companies operating in this country. His name is Matthias Corman, head of the OECD. No doubt Matthias will be lobbying heavily against the latest move by the European Union. This may have dramatic implications for Australia because they're talking about a carbon border tax. If they introduce a carbon border tax and Australia exports per capita much more in the way of fossil fuels than anybody else in the world, this may hit our economy hard. But there is no plan. There is no plan to transition. All of them to a man. And we say that pointedly are ignoring the reality, the reality that there is a global transition afoot, that it doesn't matter what your view on climate change is. All that matters is that this is happening and there is no plan, particularly for regional, rural Australia, for the coal mining towns, for those dependent on fossil fuel economies, there is no plan for transition. They hold these views, they enact this drama, this play, with the flimsiest of logic, that it's all about jobs, protecting jobs in regional Australia. There will be no jobs if there is no demand for these products. Now, coal, oil and gas are not going away tomorrow, but they are not growing either. They are receding. Demand is receding. So here we are with the rest of the world changing, yet our leaders in Australia engaged in a reality show, just like reality TV shows. They ignore actual reality. Matt Canavan's Coal cosplay is somewhat grounded in reality. Check out his family's coal interests on the link below.